Thousands of Islamists gathered for the second time in two weeks to protest interference by the United Nations mission in Sudan. The demonstrators have objected to UN efforts to mediate between the country's military and civilian leaders following last year's coup staged by army leader Abdel Fattah al burhan Demonstrators also expressed anger at a transitional constitution proposed by the Sudanese Bar Association, calling for a civilian government to pull the country out of its current political crisis. The proposed constitution would impose a ban on activity by the National Congress Party, the Islamist movement of former dictator Omar al-Bashir. Protesters holding placards reading, no to foreign interference, and Volker out, in reference to the UN's Khartoum envoy Volker Perds. Recent protests have also pitted the Islamists, who had backed Bashir prior to his ouster in 2019, against coup leader Burhan. The army chief last week warned the Islamists to steer clear of the military, saying, the army does not belong to any party. His warning came a week after some 3,000 Islamists staged a similar march in front of the UN headquarters. Sudan has been mired in a political and economic crisis since last year's coup. Security forces have cracked down on near-weekly protests, resulting in at least 119 deaths, according to pro-democracy medics. Civilian leaders have refused to negotiate with the military until it commits to a timetable for full withdrawal from power.